So this is Valentine's Day, a day to spend time with the one you love. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez takes us to a special luncheon where the food was sure to get you in the mood. Baylor College of Medicine knows there's only one way their reproductive medicine's actually going to work, and today they hosted a luncheon to put the idea in your head. It's a lunch to fall in love with. The reproductive department at Baylor is stirring up spices to get you feeling hot. Wow, it's got a lot of different flavors. This is their annual Valentine's aphrodisiac lunch. So aphrodisiac um, means stimulating sexual motivation. They try to incorporate as many aphrodisiac ingredients as possible into one dish while still appealing to your appetite. You can feel the tingling on your lips. It may be in the feeling you get. So when we have a hot chili pepper, when you get that chill up the back of your spine. Or the shape of your food. I did the special rice here with the shape of the male symbol and the female symbol. But everything here from peppers and spice to sweet and soft desserts, even rough and tangy salads, all have a purpose. It makes your blood vessels dilate, um, pushing blood flow towards the you know, extremities of your body. Director of Reproductive Medicine, Dr. Dolores Lamb, says there's not yet scientific evidence to prove the response to aphrodisiac foods is imaginary or definite. But Amin Harati says things like stress, lack of sleep, medication and smoking can truly kill your libido. So there's no harm in thinking these foods can counteract that. I think it's definitely worth trying. If it doesn't hurt, they can only help. So if you want some suggestive foods to help, add ingredients like bacon, onion, cranberry, honey, or chili peppers to your date night dish. So just we had to see tonight. Reporting from Baylor College of Medicine, I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.